are watching an extended edition of CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Hello, everyone. I'm Monita Rajpal. In Ukraine, the Crimean Parliament, which you see here now live, has just voted to hold the referendum on whether or not to stay part of Ukraine or join Russia, and that is to be held on March 16th. And we're seeing here live pictures right now uh, of a relatively peaceful uh, crowd gathering there. Now, according to Reuters, Ukraine's economy minister, Ukrainian vessels. Well, there is also a standoff at a military base outside the city of Simurfopol. The Ukrainian commander of the base tells CNN that 700 Russian troops arrived last Friday. Well, Anna Korn is at the base and joins us now live with the very latest on that. Anna? Yeah, Manita, some of those 700 uh, troops, Russian troops, mind you, are behind me as uh, we speak. Uh, them, as, long as, as well as their, uh, their vehicles, their transport vehicles, as you say, they arrived here. Anna, thank you. Thank you for that. Anna Korn, their life was at a military base outside the city of Simferopol. Now, despite high-stakes diplomatic efforts, Russia and Ukraine seem little closer to resolving their standoff over the Crimean Peninsula. Charles Crawford is a former British diplomat. He spent nearly three decades in Britain's diplomatic service. He joins us now live from our bureau in London. Sir, thank you very much uh, for being with us. Um, the former U.S. Uh, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger wrote uh, in the Washington Post uh, post today uh, and I'm quoting here he said foreign policy is the art of establishing priorities um, when we look at the frenzy diplomacy that's taking place right now in Brussels and in Rome do you believe priorities have been established because when you look at priorities they are different depending on who you talk to so that certainly makes it very difficult to actually come to some sort of understanding on what the game plan should be going forward well, these are huge subjects, and I think part of the, if I were talking to Henry Kissinger, I would say priorities are important. He, it just won't be, it just won't be recognized. Wants, then, sir, if that's not what he wants, then, sir, then what exactly are we not getting? What are we not understanding about what Mr. Putin's goal is here, then? Well, I think part of another, you know, going back to diplomacy, there's what goes on at the negotiating table and there's right, what Charles, happens we, on the ground. Thank you very much for being with us. Charles Crawford there, uh, live for us from London. You are watching CNN News Center live from London. Well, there is more on-air turmoil at the state-funded Russia Today television network. Just days ago, RT talk show host Abby Martin spoke out on-air against Russia's military buildup in Ukraine. Take a listen. I can't stress enough how strongly I am against any state intervention in a sovereign nation's affairs. It is nothing affairs. more than a self-promotional stunt. That is the response from Russia today. Recent waves of immigration have brought tens of thousands of Russians to England and they've made new lives for themselves. They've also made a sizable impact on the British economy. While they're closely watching the tense situation in Ukraine, Britain is taking a hard look at whether sanctions against Russia could backfire. Isa Suarez reports. So the Evgeny Chivchvarkin was only meant to come to well, London for 10 days. The British government may want to focus on hard diplomacy rather than on anything that may affect jobs and growth. Isa Suarez, CNN, London. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Welcome back. Panama's government says it rejects what it calls unacceptable insults from Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. On Wednesday, Mr. Maduro said he was cutting diplomatic and political ties with Panama. He accuses the country of bowing to the United States and what he calls a plot against his government. Let's get a check now of some weather conditions for you. Strong storms are moving through the western Mediterranean. Maya Ramos is at the World Weather Center keeping an eye on all of that for us, Mari. Hey, Monita. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start in the uh, Eastern Med first because that's where we're seeing the stronger storms yeah. coming through. Mari, thank you very sure. much. You are watching CNN News Center. I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. I CNN know, I Newsroom weird. with Max Foster. Is